Yo, what is up everybody? Polartron here, back with another reaction, and today we checking out the evolution of Doctor Strange Animated. Now, I checked out Doctor Strange 1, but I never checked out Doctor Strange 2. And, you know, I'm lacking in my movie game, you know, I don't watch movies that much. You know, I mostly watch TV shows, but... You know, I'm still excited to check this out. Make sure to like the video, comment down below, subscribe to the channel, and we checking this out now. Okay, let's get it. After injuring his hands in a car crash, remember this one. Surgeon Stephen Strange seeks training by the Ancient One to heal himself, becoming a powerful sorcerer. But how has Doctor Strange evolved on screen? Let's conjure up his evolution to find out. Animated. In his first live-action appearance, psychiatrist Doctor Strange wears a purple bodysuit, excessive jewelry, a black and oh. red cloak, golden arm bracers with a matching belt, now that's and his something hair we didn't is see all the time. This Strange uses an inherited magic ring to ward off an evil witch. Dude, this one actually looks nice, too. Blue fatigues with an added star emblem yeah, and yellow bad, cape. Man, and while this bad. film was meant to kickstart a TV series, it failed to launch. Strange's animated debut incorporates his comic chest symbol, a touch of gray hair, and a comic accurate cloak of levitation with his mystical eye of agamotto used as a brooch this one's also in his cool. second live action portrayal he wears a fully blue suit with a yellow lined cape the studio producing this film lost the rights to use dr strange so he instead goes by dr mordred this doctor what? is apparently an alien from space who vows to protect earth from his wizardly nemesis spider-man the animated series hey, this features one's a, a og one strange. He has a purple shirt, yellow gloves, a whiter cape collar, and his third eye yeah, makes its on-screen premiere. In his earlier X-Men cameos, he, for some reason, looks completely different, lacks his gloves, and fashions a steel blue shirt and a vertical nah, I don't collar. Like this, one. this somewhat related it's Hulk okay. series simplifies his look, adds in short orange gloves, that one just looks and like a copy of televised Superman. Goatee. This basic comic-like design is also recreated in the Superhero Squad show. In his solo animated film, Strange wears a black and red overcoat getup and a simplified cloak, although in Planet Hulk, his cloak is much more embellished. In Ultimate Spider-Man slash Avengers Assemble, he wears a dark bodysuit, yellow boots, artfully blended gloves, mm -hmm. and his collar is more hooked. Not to mention, he also has lusciously long hair. The Hulk sister series brightens up this design, and the Halloween spin-off movie gives him a sleeker look with a ludicrous yeah, like collar. Part. Plus, this version of him can even turn into a giant dream dragon. Oh, Marvel fuck. Disc War Strange has silver hair, a pointy collar, and added bicep bracers. The MCU Strange wears a blue tunic, bulky belt, and has cloth wrapped around his gauntlets and boots. His cloak has a plaid lining and two shoulder clasps. He uses a sling ring to open up portals and notably houses the Time Infinity Stone inside the Eye of Agamotto, which he uses to thwart a space entity from consuming Earth. Is that Dormammu? Annoying him in an unending time loop. This live action look would inspire his designs in Marvel Future Avengers, Marvel Superhero Adventures, his Lego version, and his 2017 animated appearance, which briefly becomes Venomized. Additionally, his Avengers Assemble design will be altered to closer match the MCU. In Thor Ragnarok, Strange now has his classic chest symbol, a redder belt, his cloth threading is more colorful, and yeah, he this wears one actually looks nice. This gloves, is like one of the best although ones. Infinity War ignores these alterations. In this film, he teams up with other superheroes to face off against Thanos. And to save the life of Tony Stark, Strange relinquishes the Time Stone, helping to allow Thanos to dust him and have the universe away. But five years later in Endgame, he's undusted and portals his way back to help defeat the Mad Titan. What If features an alternative MCU Strange, as well as a gaunt, purple-suited villainous variation that absorbs numerous beings, including his alternative Strange rival, briefly becoming a demonic monster. And there's also a zombie variant. In No Way Home, this, okay, this one actually one looks so sick. To combat a draft. This time, Strange botches a forget-me spell for Spider-Man, accidentally bringing out other wall crawlers into the MCU uh -huh. and their respective villains. In Multiverse of Madness, his chest symbol is back. His gauntlets are leather, he has black boots, a simplified belt, and his necklace is more taut. This film also features a red and black suited Defender Strange with an added ponytail. Who Whoa! Dies. A blue and silver suited Supreme Shit, Strange, but he screamed to death for his own atrocities. A dark hold corrupted Sinister Strange with an occasional third eye who also doesn't last too long. And in addition, the MCU Strange uses the dark hold to take over Defender's corpse, acquiring a flying demon cloak. 
This adventure finds our titular hero protecting a multiverse-hopping America Chavez from the Scarlet Witch. And in the end, ROG Strange gains his own third eye. Check out more videos. Okay, yeah, man. But that is the evolution of Doctor Strange. That was actually a cool one, man. I really like Doctor Strange. Uh, my favorite was either the animated series, Spider-Man, the animated series, Doctor Strange, or the one from the 2016 movie. But definitely let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like the video, comment down below, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time.